What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So the other day I said I was cruising in the Evo 8 and I thought I blew an AC line. And then yesterday I was checking over all the AC. I was gonna recharge it, try to figure out where the leak is at. The AC is still completely charged. The reason I thought it blew is I was getting on the highway. I was doing a little bit of a pull, nothing crazy. Just this big white smoke came out from in my engine bay. Oil pressure was good, coolant temps were good. I was like, it has to be AC. And I thought it smelled like AC. I didn't really put much attention to it. We got home, put the car in the shop. The car sat overnight. It came out the next morning and there was coolant all over the ground. So I started looking into it and it looks like we somehow busted our radiator. So I went ahead, called around a ton of places here locally trying to find a radiator. Had to order one in, got it overnighted. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this beautiful evil weight back up on the road. The car never overheated. I got home. There was still plenty of coolant in the radiator. The overflow was completely dry, but the radiator still had plenty in it. So I don't think it was all that bad of a leak or a crack. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Let's go ahead and pull out the radiator. We can check it out, see if we can find any damage on that. I know exactly, exactly what that's from. That is from our homemade AC line. I knew it was a little bit close to the radiator, and I guess being that the AC line would move with the engine because the compressor is mounted onto the engine and the radiator doesn't move the engine, being that close, it eventually wore through, even though it was only a few days when we were running it. This may be a really bad idea, but I'm gonna try to bend our AC line, our homemade AC line, back toward, I guess, the downpipe a little bit back toward the engine, get a little bit more space in here for the radiator. The system is still fully charged, so I guess you will know if we have a leak right away, but let's hope I can do that without cracking it while it's on the car. I feel like we got it bent out of the way a little bit. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to fit our new radiator in here. Let's give it a shot, see what happens. We kept bending it out of the way just a tiny bit at a time and we got the radiator to clear that AC line without actually cracking the AC line and making it leak again. So we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and throw the fan back on this radiator, get it in the car, and that should take care of all of the issues we currently have with the Evo 8. Let's go for a rip in the Evo 8, make sure it's all good to go, make sure we don't have any coolant leaks, and then we need to do a touch of work on the Evo 10 today as well. So really the only thing we needed to do today on the Evo 10 is get the AC up and running. So we got the old busted AC line off of here. FedEx has yet to show up with the new one. So to kill some time, let's go wash up the R6. Guys, it's been like four hours since we got the AC line off. I don't think FedEx is gonna come around today at all. So we may have to save that AC line install for tomorrow.
<laughs> Are you coming? Devin Nimala! Honey! Uh, uh, it, it's protein powder. The reason I need this is for my back. The doctor prescribed it. I can't get my shoe on. And I broke my back. My back is broken. Spinal. My back is broken. Okay. Spinal. Do I need my keys for anything? No. Oof. Bigger oof. Cold start for the boys, please. This exhaust is junk. I know. So I deadlifted for the first time about a week ago and I hurt my lower back and then my lower back was fine this morning. And then this morning I trained upper back and I hurt my upper back. So that's why I drink a lot of protein powder. That's not allowed in Spokane. That's awesome. I was just driving down the road and I kind of smell E85. What does it smell like? It smells like my ex-boyfriend. What does your ex-boyfriend smell like E85? Well, when he used to drink a lot, he would smell like corn. And E85 smells like corn. That's why if you get E85, you should get the ones that the one that smells like fruit. Remember? I can't really see the parking. You have a rear view mirror, you know? Oh. Are we going mukbanging? Wow. <laughs> Let's try this one. Bobby and I are starting a mukbang channel. And I just want to know. How's your brew? It's so good. This is a 10. Eh, it's an 8. What'd you get? A blackberry cider. So there's two things. One combined thing that we need to do to fix the airbag light on the SDI. On my SDI, not Bobby's SDI. Oh no, I started out a little laggy. Rip it! Hee hee ha. My car is slow. So this is the first item, and this right here is the second piece. So on, I think at 06, on the STI and WRX, they, kind of like Bobby's car actually, they have the airbag light right there, and if you, Cut that connector off and you don't have the airbag light installed when you install gauges, it's gonna trigger the actual airbag light on the dash. So I think that's what's going on with the car. So we picked up everything to wire in the airbag. What the hell is it called? Wire in the passenger airbag light and that should take care of the airbag light on the dash. I'm hoping. Why you walk like that? That doesn't unplug. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, Donnie. Oh, Bobby. Bruh.